Hello everyone. I don't know why <laughs> the sound is not working. I plugged everything, but it didn't work. So very sorry. I want to do this again, but I just reflect on the scripture today. And so uh, if you could just um, Bear with me a little bit, okay? So it's, it's just a reflection. I want to read the Gospel of John today. John chapter 3, verses 16 to 21. It's a beautiful um, text today. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people prefer darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works might be clearly seen as done in God. Can you hear me now? <laughs> if you can't hear me, just put number one. So, as you and I just read the gospel today God so loved the world that he sent his only son only begotten son into the world and so my question for you today is what have you done in your life that you could say like God has said to us today God so loved the world. Could you say the same thing that I so loved my, my daughter, my son, my husband, my wife, that I could die for them. That I could do almost anything for them. Have you ever done something crazy like that? When was the last time or when was the first time you could say that? Maybe the day you delivered your first child? How could I go through this? I'm thinking about my mom and my dad. My dad had to go through 10 years in, in war and then seven years in re-education camp, brainwashed, psychologically damaged, if you will. My mom had to stay home and go through all that by herself, taking care of three kids and then three more kids. And then they brought us over here. Yesterday, we celebrate 27 years living in the United States. And some of you, bold people, some of you going through so much in your life. 
Some of you might be suffer because one of your children drug addict, alcohol, alcoholic, even in jail right now, sick so so sick right now. Some of your children even can't even don't go to church or don't believe in God anymore. And you gave everything to that person. You even could die for them. Do you feel regret? Do you feel that you say, if I had to choose again, I wouldn't do that again? Now, today I would like to invite you. Think a little bit the phrase from John chapter 3, verse 16. God so loved the world that He gave us the only begotten Son. What does that mean for God when God said that and what did that for us? We just celebrated the Paschal mystery, the Passion of Christ, the Holy Thursday, and then the Good Friday and the Resurrection. Right behind me is the Crucifixion. That Jesus Christ, obviously. But what do you think about that could be the Father too? Because the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, they are one. Jesus said that when you see me, you see my Father. My Father and I are one, not two. And so how could, how could you love someone that you could even give your total self, your total control. In a homily, in a mass that you couldn't hear, I mentioned about undercover boss. What did you, how would you feel that your co-worker, your employee, turned out that your boss, and he wanted to do the same thing that you're going through. How do you live Live your life so that we don't have to pretend that we love that person. We just do it. We do it because we love that person. And Jesus himself today on the cross, that could be God the Father on the cross for us. And so my brothers and sisters, I hope that you enjoy your vocation. If you not, I pray for you. I pray so that you not just feel regretful for what you decided years ago, but I pray so that you discover the newness, the new hope, the new wine, the new joy in you, that you could see the sacrifice, the dedication, the love of your spouse, even of your children. You know, sometimes that we Parents, we think that we sacrifice to our children and kind of like one-way love or one-way sacrifice. Have you, parents, ever thought that the children also had to sacrifice for you? So today, don't be so selfish. Yes, we need to recognize our own suffering our own loss, if you will. And that is the nature of love. But at the same time, to recognize each other's sacrifice, dedication, and love. I would love to invite each one of you, if you stay home by yourself, or if you stay home with your mom and dad, with your children, turn to one another. If you could say, thank you very much, mom. Thank you, my dad, for sacrificing everything for me. And if you could, humble enough, generous in love, you could say the same to your children. Thank you for being my children. I'm so honored to be your mom, to be your dad. Don't use our authority, our big power and control to demand people's respect and obedience. 
but use your love. God didn't say that I want to control you. That's why I sent my only begotten son to you. No. And he didn't want to send his only begotten son to condemn us, but to save us. So I hope that your love is fruitful, is perseverant, is enduring, is total sacrificing so that everything you do, believe me, if you don't see the fruit today from what you sacrifice for, one day, maybe not your lifetime, but after you and I die, things will be different. I believe it. I apologize for the sound system not pretty good today. I don't know why, but I wish you a wonderful, a wonderful day. And uh, this is all I have. No more mess. May God be with you. Okay. So let me just bless you at the end of this reflection so that you can go in peace. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to serve and to love the Lord and one another. Alleluia, alleluia. See you tomorrow at 5.30. If you have any comment, any suggestions, or any intention that you want to, uh, me to uh, remember for tomorrow, please put it down. God bless you. And uh, today I offer this Mass to pray for all the intentions yesterday. Uh, so you read the, the post, that exactly what it is. God bless you. Sorry.